Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Pisces, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Pisces currently view this relationship? So we do have the Knight of Cups, very nice Pisces. And then we also have the... Um, lovers as well as the uh, wheel of fortune the bottom of the deck we do have the three of swords with the four of swords and then we also have the nine of swords to the hair font for some of you you could have recently experienced a divorce possibly even a breakup i just kind of feel like you lost somebody who meant a great deal to you and like i said it could have been somebody that you were married to or in a relationship with but it kind of looks like it took some time pisces for you to like officially get over this person it kind of looks like you know it took some time for you to move on um with your life and start dating new people and seeing new people um you know that's one thing that i am definitely getting you know what i mean i kind of feel like the moment that this relationship went south here between you and this person um i feel like you know you decided for the most part to just kind of focus more so on like your healing journey and moving past like the pain and you know the disappointment um that came with this divorce that came with this breakup but like i said even though it took you a while to get over this person even though it took you a while to start putting yourself out there all over again we kind of see you finally putting yourself out there um all over again i do feel like there is somebody new that you're going to find yourself meeting they might be a gemini possibly an aquarius maybe even a scorpio or a leo or a taurus maybe even a pisces like yourself doesn't necessarily have to be the case but there is somebody new that you currently find yourself connecting with and it's going to be somebody that um you're going to find yourself feeling really really good about which is really nice to see you know i don't feel like you're going to get like a bad vibe or anything off of this person whatsoever like you're going to get a really good vibe off of this person this connection all right let's keep going let's see what else we can get how does this person currently view this relationship with pisces okay so we have the ace of cups we got the two of pentacles we also have the uh judgment card and then we also have the uh seven of cups and then we also have the five of cups all right so hmm. mm. in regards to how this person's currently viewing this relationship with you pisces i feel like i'm picking up on this past person of yours so because i do see you meeting someone new once i'm done breaking this person's overall energy down i do want to clarify the lovers so i can kind of pick up um on this new person uh that you either currently find yourself connecting with or you will eventually find yourself connecting with very soon but this person from your past they're having a hard time forgetting about you they're having a hard time cementing this ending that transpired here between the two of you. It's as if they're having a hard time accepting, but also believing that it's like really, really over between you and them. It's interesting because how I explain it, this person's all over the place. So just roll with me for a moment. Um, you could be dealing, you could have been dealing with a water sign strongly because there, there's nothing but water coming from this person um, and like a tiny bit of earth. So you could very well be dealing or you could have, I'm sorry, been dealing with a water sign strongly. But anyways, see, the, there's an overall energy, right, of them like wanting to move forward and wanting to move on with their life, but they find it so freaking challenging and difficult to do so they do and i feel like it's because they can't escape the thought of you um it's because they're having a hard time you know what i mean accepting the fact that it's like really over between the two of you how does this person currently feel Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords, and then we also have the um, Two of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Swords, we also have the Five of Pentacles, and then we also have the Star. Okay, this person's all over the place and they're very, very conflicted. It's like on one hand, right, Pisces, this person kind of looks at you like you're the good guy. But on the other hand, it kind of looks like they look at you like you're the bad guy. It's like, it's like they don't know 
if you're like the good guy or the bad guy you know what i mean it's like they're having a hard time trying to like figure out like you know are you the good guy did you really love them did you really care about them or did you not and was all of this basically a lie it's like it's like this person um kind of finds themselves a little a little bit scattered and all over the place you know I also kind of see them like kind of trying to figure out like what was the point like what was the actual point of this relationship what was the purpose of it all what were they supposed to learn from it what were they supposed to gain from this because as far as you know them and how they feel and how they're perceiving this entire situation they kind of feel like this relationship brought nothing but confusion into their life they feel like this relationship caused them to question absolutely everything um under the sun but this relationship also kind of caused them to kind of feel like they were on cloud nine you know what i mean so it's like there was moments where this person kind of felt like on cloud nine with you but there was also like moments where this person kind of felt just outright hurt disappointed and and let down you know what i mean um I just kind of feel like this person just doesn't understand like what was the purpose behind all of this like what was i supposed to learn from this what was i supposed to gain from this what was the point of it all um how does pisces currently feel we have the eight of pentacles we got the seven of pentacles and then we also have the queen of swords okay so in regards to how you're currently feeling not only do i see you meeting someone new and you feeling really good about this person but i also see you keeping yourself extremely busy slash occupied and i do kind of feel like it is stemming from a place of you not wanting to dwell on something or think about something because at the bottom of the deck there's like an overall energy of like you like avoiding something um and it's something that you don't want to think about it's something that you don't want to dwell on it's something that you clearly just want to simply move past which i do feel like it has a lot to do with your relationship with this person to the right of you Tell me more about the lovers. Okay, so this person that you're going to find yourself meeting, Pisces, it's somebody that you're going to feel really good about. It's somebody that you feel like you can honestly trust. It's somebody that um, is going to make you feel safe and secure. So there's a huge possibility that when you were with this person to the right of me, you didn't necessarily feel safe and or secure with them, especially with the seven of wands to the five of wands coming out here, representing this connection from your past. Um, it kind of looks like there was, you know, a point in time where you kind of felt like you couldn't really lower your guard down with this person and i feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that a lot of you were more than likely dealing with a very unpredictable energy and because this person was very unpredictable it caused you to feel like you have to kind of keep your guards up here when it comes down um to this person but when it comes on to this new person that you currently find yourself connecting with a lot of you genuinely feel on a soul level and on an intuitive level that that's not something that you have to worry about um or even experience with them what actions will Pisces take towards this person or moving forward all right Pisces so we have the nine of cups we got the page of cups and then we also have the justice card very soon you're gonna get what you deserve very soon you're gonna get what you deserve wait a minute with this page of cups coming out here which is something that i do want to kind of like you know um clarify but i feel like you're going to finally get what it is that you deserve i feel like you're you're going to receive an apology from this person so it kind of looks like okay wait a minute it kind of looks like when things went south right between you and this person they probably didn't apologize to you for whatever it is that they said and or did to cause this relationship to go south here uh between the two of you but i feel like you're gonna finally get what it is that you deserve and this to me does kind of feel like an apology coming from them to you this also kind of feels like an overall energy of somebody righting their wrongs somebody realizing where they went wrong but also apologizing to you for it um i feel like you're finally getting what it is that you basically um deserve okay from this person from your past what actions will this person take towards pisces or moving forward we have the justice card we got the world and then we got the five of swords shit i've never seen this a day in my life in a reading ever you're finally getting what it is that you deserve which is basically an apology from this person you're finally getting what it is that you deserve 
They're finally getting justice, but they're also finally getting what they deserve as well. Um, and it kind of looks like they're not going to be too happy about it. Um, I gotta be honest, Pisces. I, 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 I just, I just kind of feel like this person just lost you. And there is nothing that they can really say and or do that's going to prompt them to ever be able to have you in that way ever again. See, I feel like that's their karma. I feel like that's their karma. Um, yeah, I feel like that's this person's karma is being forced to basically live a life basically without you in it. That is this person's karma. And listen, when the justice card comes out, that just basically means that you're getting what you deserve. You may not like it. You may not even fucking agree with it. You know what I mean? But when justice comes out, justice is you getting what you deserve. Straight up. You getting what you deserve. Okay? Now, are they going to like it? Right? That they're basically losing you for good. And now they're being forced to live life without you in it no they're not gonna freaking like it but with the justice card coming out here that's 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 kind of telling me that that's exactly what they deserve is to um you know experience life without you in it is to witness you with someone else so you know um like I said, I mean, uh, like like I said, I mean, this entire situation is not going to play out the way that um, they initially thought it would. See, see, their whole M.O. was, well, let me just apologize. Let me just right my wrongs. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's cool. Technically speaking, they are doing the right thing, right? By apologizing to you and righting their wrongs, right? But I think that they think or at least they thought that this apology would get them very, very far with you to the point where you would turn around and take them back um, to the point where you would turn around and accept them back into your life because it's them. You know, how could you say no? Right. Um, you've never said no before. You've always taken them back. Right. So the fact that you're not doing that is why I, 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 I kind of say that, um, they're they're kind of getting exactly what they deserve from you anyways which is you not accepting them back into to um your life which is you moving forward and moving on with your life and being with somebody who's going to treat you 10 times better than them and who's not going to put you through the stuff that they basically put you through so listen uh with the world coming out here listen like you know the world it does speak of major life lessons right um so with that being said they may be extremely upset with how this is going to really play out um but listen at the end of the day right um i feel like this person's learning a valuable lesson i feel like this person's learning a valuable lesson um through this entire experience you know what i mean and that valuable lesson um is is, is very obvious um it's very, very obvious, okay? Um, don't ever, like, put yourself in that predicament um, to lose someone that truly does mean the entire world to you. Don't put yourself in those predicaments, you know what I mean? Like, if somebody really does mean a great deal to you, um, if somebody... If somebody is really important to you, if, if you're dealing with, with, obviously, somebody that you really do love and care about... Don't ever put yourself in that predicament to basically lose them. And I think that that's the thing, right? Is that I feel like this person, like, um, I think that that's just kind of where they kind of went wrong into thinking or even believing that you would never, like, get up and leave them. You would never move on with your life and completely forget about them. I think that that's kind of where they kind of, like, I guess played themselves into thinking that you're never going to go anywhere. You're never going to leave them. You're never going to find anybody better than them. You're never going to um, officially let them go. You're just never going to do it. You know what I mean? But the fact that you're actually doing it um, just kind of goes to show um, that, you know, eventually, right? It's like people get tired, right? People get tired of, you know, being put through 
X, Y, and Z over and over again. Like people eventually get tired. Um, and I feel like that's what happened to you is that you eventually got tired of going through X, Y, and Z with this person. Um, I do kind of feel like unfortunately this person kind of pushed you to that point of no return. And unfortunately, I just kind of feel like they don't really have anybody but to blame, you know? Um, I'm sorry, I don't feel like this person has anyone to blame but themselves, all right? So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.